All right, people. So here is the deck profile for Dynamis. So Dynamis are off and Fluffles are now on. So you guys get double daily duels today. So we're gonna be going over this Dynamis deck profile. I mean, there's really not much to say about it. The deck's not that good. They really don't have a boss monster, and it just seems like Konami deliberately made the archetype just to go into Infinity Dot deck. Like, hey, you want you, you want to play Cyber Dragons? No. Well, then how about this archetype? The Pendulum summons the the machines and allows you to go into that Infinity. Well, that Nova into that Infinity. So, gonna be going on this. Uh, out of all the decks that were, on that were previously on Daily Duels, I find this one most boring. It's because it was kind of like just drop infinity, set the notices, and then your opponent just quits or squirms. Or, you know, and including the plays that my attack partner does as well, it was just it was just too much for some opponents. So, anyway, let's go over this. So, uh, mine's a little bit different. I uh, I try to keep the the ranks around the same general. So, uh, for some reason, this archetype actually has more threes. Pendulum scale three, then it does sixes. So, yeah, that's a, that's a problem. So, hopefully, they get like another card or two to uh, even out their pendulum scale. So, anyway, we got the guy who, if I don't control a dynamic monster, my opponent controls the highest attack. I can special summon him. It's a great play. Along with this guy, he says that of all monsters I control are dynamic, been on one, and none are this specific monster. I can special summon it. There have been times where I just go special summon, special summon, XC, Nova, Infinity. Like, let's go here. Yeah. Uh, I don't really like this guy. I don't think I've ever used the effect. He probably has one of the best effects, but uh, I just don't like it just because he doesn't special summon, and I'm only running because he's another Pendulum Scale 6, so yay, good job. But uh, if this card attacks at the end of the damage step, you contribute one of the dynamic monsters and activate one of the effects. You can either make it a second attack and uh, I believe have pierce damage. You can make a second attack and it's a... Uh, does this rush in for pierce damage, yep, or you can shuffle one card from your opponent's hand at random, other side of the field. Uh, back into the deck, and you get him track. So, not bad, not bad. I think there was, like, another one with that attacks directly, but I don't think I'm running him. I just, you know. I, I This is Infinity Dot deck. I don't got time for the Dynamis. It's just like, it's make Infinity, make Infinity, make Infinity. Just like how Konami wants me to do it. Anyway, uh, we got Plessio, who's another Pendulum Scale 6. Uh, he makes all hits of monsters, your opponent controls, lose 100 attack and for each Dynamis card on the field. So, that includes your Pendulum Scales and your, uh, your Continuous spell so yeah but i just run him because he's another six uh so he's a three special summon great uh when he destroys the opponent's much about battle i like to add a dynamis card from my deck in my hand great 1800 beater not bad and then he is another three uh but he in comparison to the other one because i'm not sure if i'm running them all i think i'm maybe one short but uh he's a level four and i'll go into detail about why i wanted to run him over the level fives because you know you level fives you of course want to go ahead and summon level fives like, and go into that and go into infinity but if i don't have my pendulum scale set up i really can't special especially the ones i can't special summon i can't special summon them they're just kind of stuck in my hand so uh this guy with another pendulum monster you control uh Battles and opponent's monster after damage calculation destroy them both. So it's like, hey, Stegosaurus, I have another on attack. Oh, you're way stronger than me. Well, we're both dead, but I'm going to go back to extra deck. So, uh, but still, he's still not that great either. Uh, then this is my attack, Recent Bell. Uh, Rise Bell. You're probably like, what the fuck was that? All right, re read that pendulum. I know it's a normal monster, and on this channel lately, we've been getting all these normal monsters, but that pendulum, that pendulum effect, right? Once we turn, I can target one face up monster on the field and increase its level by one. Simple as that. So, I special summon one of my level 5s, normal summon one of my level 4s, play uh, Rise Bell, Rise Bell effect, increase that 4 to a 5, and bam, Infinity. So, uh, instead of running, yeah, like I said, there's one more down, down this card, he's another Pendulum Scale 3, but he's a level 5. Instead of running him, and then just having him as a level 5, I can just go ahead and drop my Pendulum Scale down to just 2, which is fine, I can still summon all the Diamond Summon monsters I want, but then have the ability to increase my level 4s to level 5s for more Infinity shenanigans. So, 21 monsters. Then we have Triple Ignite Reload, probably one of my favorite spell cards in Yu-Gi-Oh! right now. I love this card. It's just like, whenever I'm running just a pure Pendulum-based deck or just anything involving Pendulums, I love this card. Because, I mean, who doesn't want to just, oh, I have a shitty hand. Let me go ahead and just put these Pendulum monsters back and then redraw. But no, I don't want to play Magical Mallet. This is an egg. This isn't. You draw plus one. So you automatically get your card back. This is a, you're even out uh, to just go ahead and reload your hand of all the Impendulum monsters that you don't want and get the ones that you do want. So definitely love me some Ignite Reload. It's just sad that Ignites themselves don't play it because you can also not, also you cannot draw cards by card effects for the rest of this turn. So while Ignites are happily doing the Real Magical Library plays, they just don't got time for Ignite Reload, which is fine. More, more Ignite Reload for me.
You know, I was even playing it in my cleaves when I was trying to keep them alive before I sold them off. Anyway, uh, Soul Charge, you're probably wondering, like, you have all Tundra Monsters, they all go to Tech Strike. Why do you have the Soul Charge? Alright. One. This is a tag deck. I'm with my tag partner. I'm going to go ahead and Soul Charge their monsters back, or I'm going to set the Soul Charge, give it to them so they can do their play. Two. I see a lot, and one of the best plays, I shoot you not, it's super broken, is I have Infinity on the field, right? I have Infinity, I have the key materials, I have the Nova attached, yeah, everything is great. You you somehow kill my Infinity. Oh, okay. Uh, Soul Charge. I'm going to go ahead and summon back, generally, and this is uh, generally, especially in the Cyber Dragon deck, I would summon back the two monsters that made uh, the Nova, the Nova itself, and the Infinity. The Infinity, you can go ahead and eat your monster. So now this one has, so that Infinity has the key material to negate you. I'm going to go ahead and uh, put another Infinity on top of the Nova that I summoned back with Soul Charge. So there's two Infinities. And then the other two monsters I summoned back. Uh, like I said, this deck isn't as good because generally in the Cyber Dragon deck, I would just make those into a Pleiades and, and then I have two Infinities and Pleiades on one Soul Charge. Uh, but uh, yeah, that's pretty much the reason why Soul Charge is back in here. Just to do some more Infinity. Uh, it doesn't have to be summoned properly shenanigans. And we're Gahi. And triple Dynamis Charge. This is my Searcher. This is my Tanky. Uh, let's activate it. I add one Dynamis card from Dynamis Monster from my deck to my hand. And once per turn, if a Dynamis card or cards on the field is placed in the extra deck, I can add one of those cards from my. Uh, well, I can. It's not I can. I have to. It's mandatory. I have to add one of those cards uh, from my. Uh, to my hand from the extra deck. So pretty much all these Dynamis monsters like, hey, we, you know, all their Pendulum Strikes say, uh, when this card's in the Pendulum Zone, you can negate the activation that targets another Dynamis card you control, then destroy this card. So, you know, you try to target my Dynamis card with like a Pulse, I can be like, all right, destroy my Pendulum Scale, it's going to go back to the extra deck, but if I have a uh, Charger Field, it's going to come back to my hand, and then I can just replay my Pendulum Scale. So, all right. Uh, of course, triple Insta Fusion. Insta Fusion, summon that Panzer Dragon, go into Infinity. Uh, Dynamis Rush, it's kind of like a... Uh, an artifact sanctum, uh, just being able to summon one of my monsters from the deck, just great. Like summoning monsters from the deck is awesome, especially when one dumb this monster from the deck. If you do, it's unaffected by other uh, by card effects, uh, other card effects. That's awesome as well. So I can just activate this some dynamis and then fuck you up, and you, you can't even hit me because I'm unaffected by other card effects. Also, destroy a dungeon face. That's fine. Uh, in, this, in singles, that's, that's, this is a pretty great card. You know, you set it, and you're going to get it next turn, do your plays, but in tag, it's a little bit slow, but still, it's worth the play. Just to go ahead and summon a Dynamis monster, and it, even if it's destroyed during the phase, it's destroyed, it goes back to my extra deck, and I'll just pendulum summon it back later, so. Yep. Then, of course, the five trap cards that you should be playing. The Warning, the Vanities, and the Triple Notice. Alright. Triple Nova, Triple Infinity. Not much to talk about there. Okasaurus, Gaia Charger. Not much to talk about there. Uh, one cast out. I know there's a couple of fours, and generally they won't go back to graveyards. Kind of more of the play, like, oh, well, I have these fours, and you go for Castell, or using my partner's monsters, Soul Charge, Soul Charge, make a Castell, spin you back. Uh, Zamayo, pop that back row. Uh, Bis Splash, because the level 5 monsters screw it, but mostly it's to go into uh, full armored crystal zero Lancer. One Norden. Uh, just like I said, just in case some of my level 4s in the graveyard and I need to, I'm going to go insta fusion some in order, Norton some back on the level 4s, or, uh, you know, these, and then, you know, X into Castell and handle that business, and then Panzer Dragon. But there you go. Like I said, it, it was boring. It's a simple cookie cutter deck, and uh, the deck is just not good enough to stand on its own and not do infinity dot deck plays. It really isn't. Uh, hopefully, they get more cards and support in the future, but for what they are for right now, it's infinity dot deck. So, I hope that you guys enjoyed this deck profile. Of course, uh, I will be back tomorrow with another deck profile for uh, Power Rangers and then the deck that will be on Friday, which I believe is Moonlight slash Lunar Light. Uh, so, enjoy your double daily duels deck profile that you're watching now, and make sure you go ahead and watch uh, the first Thursday daily duels tag with Fluffles. Alright, people. Thanks for watching.